Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Thanks for subscribing and uh, joining into my community. Please like my videos and uh, share my videos. So uh, as of now, uh, I have uploaded two remastering uh, videos in my playlist. Uh, you can go to my video cha uh, YouTube channel and uh, check the remastering playlist so that uh, all the videos uh, about the remastering will be in one place. So in this uh, video, uh, what I will do is I will just make uh, one more uh, remastering video on uh, this arm. So as you can see here, uh, looks very simple, but uh, let us start doing this and we'll come to know what are the difficulties we can find on this uh, model. So as you can see here, there are uh, this is not a parametric modeling. So here are too many bodies. So as of now, what we can do is we can just make it as a feature group and give any name for this and click OK so that it will be under one group. So so as usual what we can do is we can just create a data planes three data planes which can be used to make uh, sketches okay we can see here uh, three data planes are uh, created so what i will do is uh, let us go to sketch environment on this plane click ok um, project the curves and here is my curve let us select a single curve and and click ok now let us hide this and as you can see this is our profile which uh, we got it from the model so what we can do is we can just go to an arc here so start creating an arc uh, using us these planes so what I'll do is I'll just go to here we can make a circle here this is my first point sorry this is my first point and this is my second point and here is the third point and this is our circle we can trim this extra circle later so go to arc and my first point will be this and here is the second point and this is the third point and again select this okay similarly where uh, you can able to see the splines you need just need to create an arc and whatever the arc that are already existing these are the arcs so you can just leave them as it is and here as well one more arc we can create this is the first and this is the second and let us create and click ok now let me delete these splines this is first spline and here is I think one more spline yes and here is one more spline this is one more spline here um, this is this one okay now as you can see here this is the complete circle complete circle is not required so let us trim this okay now we have this profile so click finish and switch on this now as you can see here uh, we have to extrude this profile so in order to do that what I will do is uh, uh, let us go and extrude command here and select this sketch make it as a symmetric value and there should be none so I have to s measure the value so along this direction from this curve to this face it is 12 mm so let us give 12 mm and click okay now we can see here uh, this is done so let me hide this now in this plane we have to uh, remove this extra portions so in order to do that i'll just uh, go into <coughs> sketcher environment again so project curves and here is our project curve and let us project this curve 
and uh, this curve and this curve as well project this curve and this curve I click ok i think these are more than enough let me hide this as you can see here these are the three curves and there is an arc here so in this what we can do is uh, we can just uh, go to make corner uh, let us create a corner over here and let me extend this extra and create a corner again and click close now we have to make this arc uh, which is in spline so go to select an arc here okay let us extrude this so that it can touch this uh, curve so just delete this spline okay now we have to make uh, an outer profile here let us extend this and this extend this and let us trim the extra portions these are the extra portions and uh, the same profile we need to uh, on the bottom side as well so what i will do is i'll just go to mirror curve and select a connected curves my central will be on the x axis and click ok let us finish the sketch now let us show our body and this is our body what we have to do is we have to remove the material so go to extrude and select this sketch and this should be symmetric value and give the values as much as possible and click subtract and click ok now let us show this body as you can see here our uh, profile is almost done uh, we are left with these two holes so let us give those holes and then uh, we can make uh, edge blends so in order to make those holes what i will do is i'll just go to sketch again select this and either you can project this curves or else you can uh, there is a one more way you can directly go to circle and start selecting this this is one more method but the thing is that uh, uh, this arc will be having some constraints with this feature body so you need to remove that later so i'll just finish the sketch and go to extrude and select this sketch and my this is the body to be removed click ok so as you can see here the material is removed now we are uh, left with uh, some of the edge blends so what i will do is uh, i'll just hide this body and let us check what are the edge blends values so go to feature, uh, local radius and this is 2 mm and here is 2 mm this is also 2 mm i think it is everywhere it is 2 mm so what i will do is uh, let us start giving the edge blends so go to edge blend here and set 2 as a value first of all give these two inside curves click apply and now if you select this everything will be selected and on the bottom as well we can do the like same way okay click apply unable to create okay where it does it okay let us not select this on this uh, there should be always uh, you know the procedure on 
to give the edge blends so you cannot blindly give on any edges okay now what we can do is we can just give this outer end so this is the one end and this is the other end and click ok now it is able to take the edge blends so i think uh, let us hide everything and show the body and this is the body so i think this model is done it is looks to be very simple and uh, this is how we can make a remastering guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you